Hey there, what's up everyone? My name is Terra Figer and welcome to the snow of Bessidia. I got a haircut. Let's get into the game. So this game was actually recommended to me by somebody on DeviantArt called Captain Lucid Art, I believe his name is. And he said that it's very PlayStation 1 style, 64 style, Nintendo 64 style of game. And I believe it's like a Christmassy kind of game. What, what, what are you? Let's play, okay. The wind coming out of these cracks can lift you up, isn't that cool? Gee, it sounds like you're trying to subtly hint at a game mechanic. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it, it's a, hi? Amazing, I can't believe it's really snowing. Why can't you? Seems pretty normal to me. Why am I wearing short sleeves? Actually, why wouldn't I be wearing short sleeves? Okay, that's how you jump. The jumping is like spaces to jump, but it's kind of like delayed. There we go. I got like. Oh, it's not gonna let me jump on slopes. Just I can't jump in place. I can't even jump normally. Does it just jump automatically? It does. Okay. I I don't. Okay, so I don't need to. I don't need to um actually press a space bar to jump. It just does it by itself. Does that mean it climbs up this bite? No. It, yes, it does. Nah, not quite. Okay, well, jump, jump. There's another person down there. Hold on. What do you have? Careful. There was a landslide up ahead. Looks like we're going to be stuck here for a while. Uh, that's what you think, lady. Do you even know who you're talking to? Okay. I guess everything has been uh, snowing, and it's causing troubles, and I got to find out the cause for it. That's what I assume, anyways. All right, here we go. I look like some kind of character straight. Whoa! Okay, yeah, this is very, this is really giving me Nintendo 64 vibes. And then, whoosh, I, not quite. Come on. Oh, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna let me. I kind of like how the jumping is automatic. Whoosh, there we go. Hey, buddy. I heard a ruckus down in the caverns a while ago. Snow started pouring out of the mountain after that. Okay, why do you only have like one dialogue listing? Hello, you. Are you a person? You're not a person. What are you? Oh, you're some kind of mushrooms. The atmosphere has changed. This is supposed to also be kind of like a horror game. Don't specifically know what. Hi. They finally got the cavern doors to open, but it caused a big earthquake. Yeah, I can see. Jump. What's down there? Whoa. This place is neato. Don't know if there's a whole hell of a lot to do in this game. Jump and whoosh up, whoosh up, whoosh up, 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 higher, 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 and forward. Eh, didn't think I was gonna make that on my first try. Uh, yep. I like that. I oh, is there wind coming this way? Does that mean if I stop, it's gonna blow me? No. Okay. I guess it's just particles of some sort. This feels like the tunnel is, like, actually manually stretching as I'm going forward, but that's not the case. Is this a really... this is really cool. Definitely does look like something that would be on a regular Nintendo. Although it isn't. Oh, hi there! Hello, dog man! Oh, you're not a dog man. You're a person who's overtaken by the fungus. <laughs> okay. What's this, then? It's like a temple. Any other fungus people around here that I can interact with? Are you? Yeah, oh jeezums. Didn't even realize that was a person who was stabbed through the abdomen. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, spores. I mean, it's a cool looking environment. I think, I think that like, probably, probably whoever made this didn't want, so that's weird. People who made the people who made this either weren't able to make to have good enough graphics to that would um I was able to examine something. Oh, I'm able to examine this. They either weren't able to have good enough graphics to make a really good game. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, okay. 
or they wanted to specifically make something in this kind of style to give kind of like an old haunted Nintendo 64 game kind of feel. It's one of the two, I'm sure. Anyways, examine. Yeah, what the hell is this thing? Is it like a big heart? It's yucky looking, actually. Oh, I see. That's what's causing. That's what's blowing the snow. Oh. Oof. Well, that's that, I guess. Um. Well, there's a lot of echoey now. <laughs> All right, let's uh climb this. Hi, person? There's something crawling in my head. Please, help. Yeah, you, your eyes look kind of weird, dude. Can I, can I walk out this way? Something tells me I can't. Also, every time I touch these... Then, okay. Ew! 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 Help! There's something growing. Inside! Yes, there is! Ew, ew, ew. I don't even want to walk down there and talk to everybody else because I know they're going to be infected and it's just be a lot more puzzle solving to get up. This is really weird. This, this, this went from 0 to 50 really quickly. I mean, I like the premise that they're se setting up, though. Oh. Down there. I, I came from down there. So what am I- am I actually supposed to just go back to the village? Okay, then my mistake. We're not fair, people of this land. Your hero has come to save you! Ugh. Hello? Knock knock? Nobody home? Well, at least it's not snowy anymore, maybe. Everything just looks overtaken with mushrooms, so... Hello? <coughs> What's happening? I don't know. I can't tell if those are like grubs that are spinning out or if that's uh smoke. Ah! Okay. Ew. Oh oh the roadblock's cleared. No, no it isn't. No, it is not cleared. So yeah, I still can't jump there. Well that's a shame. Can I walk up? I can. I can walk up. Well, darn. Doesn't doesn't look like there's a whole hell of a lot to do in this area. Okay, I got I got to look around. There's got to be a there's got to be something. What's happening? What's that music? Is that queuing up something bad? Oh wait, this is a vent. This is a vent that'll propel me up somewhere. Oh oh oh! Damn it! That the oh speak. Hello. Okay. Whoa, what, 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 what? Oh, my vision. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? What's actually happening? I'm, I'm getting infected. I probably shouldn't have talked to her. I talked to everybody, and now I'm getting infected. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Uh, f float. Float. Why can't I float on that thing? Okay, what does this do? Yeah. Oh, oh no! That's it? That's how it ends? Or is that just the bad ending? There is no way that's how the game actually en Let me just go back to his comment one last time. What did he say? Yeah, he said, yeah, Captain Lucid Art here. He said that the Snow of Basidia is like a 15 to 20 minute game. Okay, yeah, and, and, and it's been less than that. Okay. So I guess, I guess, I guess that was as much as I could do. Well, that was the game, though. That was the Snow of Basidia. Weird. 
I, I wish there was more to it. I can definitely see the, the like the whole reason that Captain Lucid Arts suggested this game to me was because that it reminded me, or not reminded me, but I was um, saying about how I liked like creepy style um, games that were all had like polygonal graphics and were clearly made for, in like a Nintendo 64 vibe, like Catastrophe Crow and the whole Ben Drowned creepy pasta. And that's when he suggested this. And I can definitely see the Nintendo 64 vibes. I just wish there was more of it. There's a good premise here, and if the creators like turn this into a fully fledged game, then this would be really good. As is, it just feels like a demo. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe like if I just search for the snow of Bessidia and go to its itchio page right here. A peaceful town experiences its first snow. Are you willing to discover the source of this mysterious phenomenon? I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess, but there wasn't a whole he heck of a lot to it. Yeah, the, the, the Benny to spook. This needs to be a full game. Its short length and abrupt downer ending just left me wanting more. It needs to be made into a full game. I mean, it could be like Majora's Mask meets Alone in the Dark 1 meets The Thing. The moment I played this bad boy, I knew it needs so desperately to be extended into a full-length adventure. What becomes of Basidia after the infection begins? How do you fight back against such a thing? How does the story end? Is it a full of crafty and affair, or is there a glimmer of hope at the end? The questions race through my mind, and I hope to God the developer of the game sees the same potential in Snow of Basidia that I do. Edit, and what do you know? It is! The Winds of Basidia. Can't wait to see how this plays out. The winds of Basidia? Oh! What do you know? They are making another one. This is a trailer for The Winds of Basidia. I looked it up and this was the first result. Okay. B and B. Well, Modus Interactive was the one who made the 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 snow of Basidia. Now it's the winds. I don't know if this is like a part two or something, but it seems like they are going to be expanding on this concept. Yeah. What, is this like the aftermath of what happened? Yeah. Everything got overtaken by the fungus. What's that? I don't know. They look like rocket launcher shells. And a gun. A rifle. Of some sort. A very long rifle. So people actually try to fight back against the fungus and they failed. Is that a person? It is! It's a soldier! Overtaken by the fungus. Oh, and, th and there I am. There's my character. He's not infected anymore, doesn't look like. What? Okay. That was the entirety of the trailer. It's in development. Good. Good, good, good. Because I need the story expanded. This is amazing. The concept that this provided was friggin' amazing. Is that the end of the trailer? It absolutely is. So, well, no, I don't want to restart it. So as I said, yes, that is a Snow of Bessidia. Link to the games in the description below. I'll leave a link to Captain Lucid Arts DeviantArt page in the description below as well, since he's the one who suggested it to me. Thanks again to him for doing so. Man, really good potential. It's very short, a little underwhelming, because that it looks like it was that the there wasn't really any buildup. It just all of a sudden happened. Like I saw, like I saw the cave and then went in and things immediately got ominous. I saw that big pulsating thing sent me back to the town and everything was suddenly infected. And then after talking to everybody, then I ended up getting infected. I got the vines and then the moment I looked in, I just got overtaken. Like it's pretty short. So like this really does feel to me more like a demo of things to come. So if the winds of, Be so once the winds of Bastidia comes out, if it, is, if it has even more to it, than the snow does if the wind is like overall a bigger game 
and I hope it is, then I will certainly be playing it. I'll be playing it regardless once it comes out. But I looked it up, um, went to Google and searched up the Winds of Basidia to see if there was a gameplay link to it, a, an itch.io page link to it. There was not. There was a link to the Snow of Basidia, which was the second result. And the first result was a Twitter post, which was the trailer that I just watched. But man, what a cool game. Really hope that, uh, really hope that this gets turned into a full story rather than just the glorified demo that it is right now. We'll see though. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Let me know to that down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everybody.